Rules. One, be in Discord. I need to be able to do a security verification for you to ensure that you are who you say you are. Because I've had people in the past try to tell me, hey, Burrito, I've won. Give me the account. I'm here to collect the account. But it wasn't them. And I was like, dude, someone else already collected it. And they showed me screenshots of who they were. Look, be in Discord. That way I can DM you. All right? First rule. If you're not in Discord, sorry, you're not going to win. Two, there is no keyword. I'll figure out what I want you to do later on. 24 hours to respond is the third rule. You have 24 hours to respond from the time that I pull you as a winner. All right? So I'm probably going to stream it. And I'm going to pull it live. And you have 24 hours from the time that I comment, hey, you won on YouTube. So make sure you're, you're um, you know, keeping up to date with that you know, staying, I don't know what the word is, but just, just be aware that I might hit you up when I do. Now, the winner is going to be drawn exactly one week from the time that this video goes public. I'm currently at 1965 right now, but I, I thought I might as well go ahead and just uh, record something now. That way I can leave it unlisted and then set it to public as soon as I see that I hit 2K, which is going to be pretty soon, it looks like. Thank you guys for 2,000 subs supporting me so far. Um, Afro Senbo, good buddy of mine, decided to give his account away. This is the account, so shout out to him. And, um, yeah, it's a level 100 account. Here's the player info for, you know, anybody who wants it. And I'm just going to go through the account. We'll show you guys the roster, everything, you know, everything that you're going to want to probably consider. I'm going to show you. These are the current shards. I'm not going to pull any shards. I'm going to leave this as is. He hasn't logged into the account or he wasn't logging into the account for quite some time. I'm currently kind of running it. Most of the time I just run in, uh, do like a quick clan boss battle and that's pretty much it. I don't really uh, do anything. I'm not really doing anything on this. The revival quest is here because he hasn't logged in for so long. So if you want to, you could pay 20 bucks, get all of these rewards here, including an Elva. Elva, you could buy Elva for 20 bucks. Elva for 20 bucks. You just got to do these quests, and on these quests, you also get, uh, well, you have uh, one day to get the potion keeps. It's not going to go away. It'll still be there. I'm not going to use it. This count, uh, let's see. This account is the, what are you, fully, uh, the Great Hall is fully, almost fully maxed. So we have attack here, attack here, attack here, and defense here that we need to get to 10. But it's almost maxed 220. I think 240 is the max, actually. When it comes to the champions, I'm going to show you guys the entire roster. We have a plus one Elva. We've got a Gaius, pretty well built. We have um, Arbiter. That's one Arbiter. We have, what do you call it, a Warlord. We have Corvus. We've got one Trenda. There's another one somewhere else. We've got a Duchess. We've got Helicath, Coronar. We've got Beauty and the Beast on this account. Of course, we've got Mariuko, Errol. We have a um, Artak, Michinaki, great for Hydra. We have Rodos and Siffy, the Siffy Rodos combo. That's huge. That's huge. Now, these aren't the best builds. Not the best builds, sorry, but the potential is there. You have the champs, and that's half the battle, right? Because Raid is one half having the champs, the other half having the gear. There is a Yumiko, right? There's a Yumiko on this account. That's huge. That's huge, especially for, for Hydra. You have a second Arbiter. You've got Lydia. So Faction Wars is already complete. Ethos, or Inith, um, Ethos. Inith, we Blood Twin. Great for Live Arena. Going up against those Sun Wukongs. There's um, Beauty right there. We got Wither the Crown. We have a second Trunda. Astralon. Elder Skarg. Foley's okay in, in Live Arena. Uh, Longbeard for Ally Attack. We got the Tanky Boy himself. Iron Brago. Got Biggin. We have an, uh, let's see, I think that's two Sun Wukongs. Is he two? Oh, just one. It's just one Sun Wukong. My bad. Got Yoshi, Lanicus. We have Septimus, Mortar Macabre, a second Duchess. So you're going to, you know, whoever wins this is going to get two Duchesses. Walking Tomb Drang, the WTD himself, Lissandra, Martyr, Valkyrie. You got your counterattack champions here. So yeah. Pretty nice roster. I got some plus fours. We got a plus four Geo right here. A plus four Inquisitor Sham. Plus three Allure. Plus three Skull Crown. Plus two with a Crushing Ren Blessing in Seer. We have Orochi. Oh, sorry. Um, Oboro. Plus one. Magnar. Plus one. Aniri. Staggy. Doom Priest. Some big hitters here. We got Royal Guard. 
Nobody really uses Madame Sarah anymore, but we got a second Duchess. We have a second Seer. I don't know what you're going to need a second Seer for. Maybe we don't have resets, but we do have resets here. Ugo, Nubkex, Deacon, two Nias, perfect for the Hydra thing, but the Hydra team isn't built. We got a Husk, Ugo, more epics down here. If you wanted to build this type of unkillable conch, you could go double man eater, but I think the comp I'll show you guys in a bit is already there. Um, I'll we'll go over the dungeons. We have a farmer in Felhound. We've got some, some cold hearts, Bellower. We have some other champions here that aren't built. We have Glacea Soul Guide, the uh, Vassal the Seal from the Doom Tower, Lana Theral, Eryx, Longbeard, and then more epics down here. More legendaries. There's more gold down here. A lot more. We got another Lana Theral. We have a second Artak. We have uh, King Garog, Varl. Gonna want to build him for Hydra for sure. And yeah, here's more epics down here. Go ahead and take a gander. Scroll all the way down. Probably empower. Actually, these might be faction guardians, world guards, but you know, there's the option there. So in terms of gear, this is currently what we're uh, working with. Let me get rid of this. Um, so for for the most part, the gear is pretty good. A lot of it's already rolled up. Been keeping um, six star and above epics, so kind of the best, the best. But yeah, it's it's um still limited, but you're still able to do quite a bit. So I don't want to give you the expectations that you're going to be able to do every single thing in here. But trust me, it's a stacked account. It's a solid account with good gear. And uh, yeah, so that's the gear. That's what you're looking at. Let me show you the accessories. Actually, I didn't even show you equip. But yeah, there's a lot of gear going on here for the accessories as well. I didn't show you how many we have here. So 913 here. So you have a lot of gear able to move around. You got Cupidus too. I forgot to mention Cupidus is a big one. Now, um, let me see. Actually, I know some people are going to want to see specific builds for specific, mostly PvP and big PvE champions. So I'll show you Arbiter. Arbiter is going at 360 Thrix. Uh, C 360 Thrix. 360 three speed gaius is going at 238 i do use him 743 i use him in arena for or i've tried him out in arena pretty fun really good a2 warlord 554 accuracy 264 speed udk nice and slow well, not the slowest he could be slower more resistance would be better um, but 110 hp good defense Let's see, we got Trunda, one Trunda in Savage, 238 speed, almost 250 crit damage with 6.6 .6 attack, one Duchess. Let's see, we got 88, 31, almost 300, 560 resistance, that's pretty good. Mighty Uko, prefer a stun set or provoke depending. We got 300, actually I think I might have built this one myself, I was going for more utility, I think. Um, 68, 3.4, 300 speed, 432 accuracy, we have Errol. Uh, Hydra Errol, not the best one because I was I was working on this and then I stopped working on it. It needs to um, get booked or he needs to get booked. We got Michinaki, uh, Rodos. Here's another one, a big one. Rodos and Savage, 4.8, 200, almost 200% crit damage. It's okay. It's okay. Yumiko, we're looking at 305 speed, 383. So definitely bump up the speed, bump up the accuracy there. Not saying that his builds were bad. Some of these I, I rebuilt myself with the current gear. I'm not trying to say that his gear or anything was bad. Because I know I'm going to get a message from him. Oh, Burrito, you're saying my, my, my builds and gear are shit. Afro, I promise you, dude. You're good. You're good. I'm not talking shit or anything. I'm just saying where it could be improved. Granted, you did stop playing for some months, okay? So there's that. Ramantu, we have Ramantu, 450 accuracy, 236 speed, Siffy, 328 speed, room to glyph, room to oil up, we have an Ithui, and then I go over all the big ones, uh, second Trunda in Savage also, 5.2, almost 200%, 232 speed, Sun Wukong, looks like a support Wukong, 250 speed, 700 accuracy, very nice, second Duchess, Looking at 81, almost 4K, 280 speed, 211 resistance. Valkyrie, Mortimer Cobb. Yeah. So there's that. 
those are the champions. You saw the champions. You saw the gear. Um, this is what's currently in the forge. Anybody who cares to know about that. And then let's see. We're gonna go dive into some of the um, what do you call it? Dungeon things here. I think I was actually gonna rework this. Yeah, I was gonna rework this, and then I just I forgot to get back to it. But there's definitely something you could do here. For Iron Twins, his best time was 200, or sorry, 2 minutes, 11 seconds. Uh, potion Keeps, we're not going to go over because it's Potion Keeps. Same thing with Minotaur, it's, you know, it's the Minotaur. So I think I was currently working on Full Masteries for Oboro and um, Errol for the uh, Clan Boss. Ice Golem, we're at 2. It looks like we're, so I know we're able to do this. You just have to build Artac, but you have Artac here. Artac is can be built to solo if you put him in regen and immortal make him fast and tanky with good enough resistance and accuracy so pretty much he's going to need everything probably a higher blessing at least three but you do have the champion at the very least you have the capability to go ahead and solo the ice golem hard ice golem if not you could always drop down to 20 there's definitely champs here for that uh, there's guides out i have guides on my channel there's other content creators with better guides uh, this one's a pretty good one. We're on stage. Okay, so we're not on hard here yet. We're on stage 20, but it is a 10 second run. So here, I'll just go over it real quick. Um, if you want to get the events done, if you're trying to do dungeon divers or trying to finish a spider event, you could definitely settle for 20 and uh, call it a day here. It's pretty good, pretty quick. 11 seconds, five turns right there. So we'll sell these. Go back to the map. Dragon, 48 seconds. You do have Yumiko. You can brutalize the hard 10 dragon. Yumiko is going to use the hex to reflect any of the poisons or debuffs back onto Hellraiser right here. Um, and yeah, you just kind of twerk with it. Or sorry, not twerk, uh, tweak it a bit. A beat, a bit. Sorry, I was watching uh, Megan Thee Stallion with my wife. She was showing me this. Uh, she did this video, uh, a Japanese song. It was pretty cool. Um, Sand Devil. Yeah, so Sand Devil, you know, you have Aniri, you've got Ninja, and there's definitely some other type of comps that you could you could build. You have Siffy, right? So one of the, you could look it up on my channel, one of the teams that I've built was Siffy for the sleep, and then you just have uh, somebody who places a bunch of debuffs, reset champions, you have resets, and then nuke down. I don't, is there a nut? Is there a newt on this account? There is no Newt. Okay, so he didn't do the fusion. Or he wasn't there at the time. Phantom uh, Shogun. Also, I'm um, going to need some work here as well. Pretty sure. Okay, so there's no ninja on this account too. But definitely, uh, the capabilities are there. Like, the champs are there. It's just going to take some time. So, that's those are the dungeons. You kind of see where he's at. Faction Wars is already complete. You have Lydia. There are some here that you still need to uh, work on. Mostly Sylvan Watchers, it looks like. Actually, the only one is Sylvan Watchers because everything else is 63. Now, for Arena, we're in 2. Was at 5, but I just haven't been logging in um, to, to do it. But here, I'll show you a few of the runs so you can see like the main team that I've been trying out. Speed up, decrease defense. Push back turn meter along with the skill cooldown, and then Gaius bombs nukes and calls it a day. But this is pretty much just a speed speed battle. Uh, if your arbiter is faster, then you win. And bomb teams seem to do very well. I mean, I've I've lost to guys who are at lower levels than I am in live arena just because they happen to outspeed me. Like I had a faster arbiter. Now, anytime I see somebody pick an arbiter first, I'm gonna have to assume now that they are trying to build a bomb team for live arena so there's that but yeah, you can see uh definitely capable in arena especially with yumiko and some of the other champions that you saw all right and clocks him out there you go do one more for you guys pretty stacked account oh okay so i finally decided what i want you guys to do if you want to win all you have to do is comment down below what your favorite movie is there's no keyword no specific movie i'm just gonna run all the comments at random and if i see uh, that you put a movie that's your favorite movie or just a movie that you really like then you uh may have won that's it that's all i need from you guys 
And um, let me see. So we did the dungeons. We did arena. Clan boss. Oh, clan boss is, I think, it kind of depends, but it's also uh, one or two key. Just sort of depends here. I'll show you guys what the run looks like. It is a quick battle run, so you know that's a good thing. All right, so going up against Spirit, uh, this is not the best setup yet. I'm still working on Errol, but you can see it's almost a one key. Errol just needs masteries and a little bit of a tweak with his gear. So 55 mil there, you're still gonna get the top chest. You just have to remember to switch depending on the affinity. So he needs, he definitely needs masteries though. So make sure you guys are, whoever takes this ends up doing that. Here are the keys that I've done. That is me on my main account. This is me. I just put this team together for this account. Now it does need work. It's not fully capable of a full auto run yet. I just sort of put the champions in, did a little bit of uh, gear building for them. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you could still one key or sorry, it's still a one key. If you wanted to do more damage, you could run it on full manual and you'll definitely do a lot more, but I wasn't going to do that. Here, I just ran these two teams on auto as well, just to get the keys in, just to get the chest whenever it does um, show up. But And I was trying to test out Beauty and the Beast in Hydra. So there's that. Capabilities there for um, Hydra. I think on normal, I did over 100 mil with the Double Trenda and Yumiko team that I tried out, Doom Tower. Uh, I just haven't been logging in to do it, but you can definitely rise through the tower here. Cursed City, same thing. Just haven't been here, really. And then Siege, of course. So, yeah. Oh, wait, let me get this. Oh, we got more uh, barrel gear. And it looks like we're receiving... All right, we got a little bit more for you guys there. So whoever takes this account. Yeah, so you guys know the rules. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me down below.